And the non-calculator test takes 30 minutes. And um, this is our sheet. We start with um, 67.7, and then in February we have 67.4, March 66.8, and so on. And number A, we should calculate the net change in weight over this period. Um, so we take January, the first number, minus the last number, which is July, and we get 1.5 kilograms. We always do that for number A. We always take first number, which is in January, minus the last number here. This is in July. So this number minus this number here at the end. And you get the change over the whole period. And in this case, this person has started off with 67.7 in January. And, um, and then in the end now, in July, she weighs 66.2. So she has lost 1.5 kilograms. Uh, in B, we calculate all of the months. So the difference of all of these months. So we start with January minus February, which is 0.3. We calculate February minus March, which is 0.4. So we calculate this number minus this number gives us that outcome. Then February minus March, this one. March minus April. Try not to forget one month. You know, so we go through January, February, March, April, May, and June. And below, you should just have the same months, but you start with February. February, March, April, May, June, July. Okay. And uh, and then we check which number is the greatest. So we have 03, 0.4, and so on. But the biggest number or the greatest number or the highest number is 0.8 kilograms. So clearly the change from April to May was the greatest because this is when the person has changed in weight uh, really drastically. All the other months, there hasn't been much change. There's no gain or anything. C, it says the range in weight, highest minus lowest over the six month period. So we check out the highest number that we can find in the table. So 67.7 seems to be the highest number because all the other numbers are Smaller, look, 67.4 or 66.8. So they're all not really uh, high. So we've managed to find the highest number, which is in January, but it could be any other month. You have to check in your exam, which is the highest number. Then we uh, minus the lowest number. So we're also going to look in our table again, which is the lowest number. So we have some with 66, that's still not very low, but then we have one with 65.9, which is the lowest. There is no other number that is smaller than that number. So we figure out the lowest number. Then minus this one is 1.8 kilograms. So that is the change in weight where it is the greatest. Then we have a look at number D. D says the mean weight, so the total weight in divided the number of measurements. So we have, how many measurements do we have? January, February, March, and so on. How many numbers? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have seven numbers. We know we have to divide by seven. But first of all, we have to add them all up. So we add January plus February plus March, April, May, June, and so on. So we add them all together and we get 167.4. Then we divide it by seven and we get 66.7. And that was question number one.